Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well and staying safe during this time. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. Like I said, thank you so much for checking me out. If you haven't done so, please make sure to hit that subscribe button just right below the video. Cool, thank you so much, I really do appreciate it. And if you're returning, welcome back. Thanks again for your support, I truly do appreciate having you here. We are going to share our opinions with you on the possible price action that may occur. This Nano Dimension stock analysis will take into account the NNDM stock news today as well as past NNDM stock news. I highly recommend pulling up the latest chart of NNDM stocks so that you can follow along with our NNDM stock forecast. We will provide you with some of the critical information that you may potentially need to plan out your trades on Nano Dimension stock on Tuesday, October 12th. By being able to potentially predict the price movement of Nano Dimension stock, you may be in a better position to possibly time your entry and exit points more effectively and thereby put yourself in a position to maximize your profits. Before we jump into this Nano Dimension stock prediction, if you appreciate that we simply give you the facts and cut the fluff on a daily basis, please consider smashing the like button for the YouTube algorithm. We will start our Nano Dimension stock forecast by looking at some general information so that you understand the big picture of Nano Dimension stock. Right after we lay the groundwork we will take a deeper dive and provide you with our price predictions and our potential buy and sell price targets. So let's get into some of the basic information about this stock. First things first let's take a look at the lows and highs of NNDM stock during the last market day. The lowest price NNDM stock got to was $5.58. On the opposite side of the range, the highest price NNDM stock was able to attain was $5.78. Now let's go over the open and close of the market day. The opening price of Nano Dimension stock on Monday, October 11th was $5.64. On the last market day the stock closed at $5.59. If we compare this to the previous market day, it shows that Nano Dimension stock price lost 0.89% on the last market day. It is important to take a look at the volatility of the market. This is important because there is potential profit in volatility. On the last market day the stock's volatility from the low to the high of the day was 3.58%. In other words, the stock moved 20 cents between the high and the low. There has been a loss of 8.81% over the last two weeks. Now let's take a look at the average volatility over the last week which comes to 3.68%. The 52-week low on NNDM stock is $2.67. On the other extreme, the 52-week high of Nano Dimension stock is $17.89. It is also important to take into account the volume change on a day-to-day -day basis when planning the perfect moment to execute our trades. If we analyze the volume change in the last market day we will see the following. The average volume of NNDM stock is 6,798,373. The volume fell on the last market day by 709,000 shares. Now let's jump into what the moving averages has to say about Nano Dimension stock. Nano Dimension stock is trading above its 5 day simple moving average. NNDM stock is trading below its 20 day simple moving average. The stock is trading below its 50 day simple moving average. We can also see that the stock is trading below its 100 day simple moving average. Nano Dimension stock is trading below its 200 day simple moving average. The short term moving average indicates a buy movement for NNDM stock. When we analyze the long-term moving average it indicates a sell movement for Nano Dimension. It is important to note that the short-term moving average is below the long-term moving average. Generally this means that there is an overall sell indication in this Nano Dimension stock forecast for the future which we should pay attention to. Nano Dimension stock is considered to be medium risk as an investment in today's investing climate. Now let's jump into the technical oscillators and analyze what they are indicating. The relative strength index oscillator is indicating a neutral signal. When it comes to the stochastic oscillator, it is giving us a neutral signal. The commodity channel index oscillator is indicating a neutral signal. Average directional index is listed as a neutral signal. Momentum is indicating a sell signal. The all-powerful MACD oscillator is in a sell status. When we take a look at the Williams percent range oscillator it is indicating a neutral signal. The ultimate oscillator is showing us a neutral reading. When you take a look at all the oscillators as a whole, the majority of them are indicating a sell signal. At this point we will lay out some of our predictions on potential price points that may serve as good entry and exit points for Nano Dimension stock. We base these predictions on potential support and resistance levels. It's hard to really take into account the first 45 minutes of the stock market day, 
9.30 a.m. Eastern to about 10.15 a.m. Eastern as this is usually the most volatile part of the day. I will not be utilizing the following NNDM stock predictions until after 10.15 a.m. Here is a bullish potential trade that I will be looking at. If the stock is still staying above the $5.57 support level for a decent amount of time, I may look at starting a new position as close as I can possibly get to that support level of $5.57. I would aim to cash out during the day by selling nano dimension stock somewhere near the resistance level of $5.64. I would sell my holdings of nano dimension stock in 5 different transactions. Each sell limit order would be spaced and triggered as the share price moved from the $5.57 support level towards the first resistance level of $5.64. That way I would take my profits along the way by selling closer and closer to the resistance level of $5.64. This way I would attempt to minimize my risk. Before I give you my buy and sell target prices for the next 3 trades, I would like to say that this is not financial or investment advice. This video is for entertainment and informational purposes only. Please consult with a qualified investment advisor prior to making any form of investment as we are not investment advisors. The next bullish trade I would consider executing would be if the first resistance level of $5.64 was broken after 10.15 am and the stock price stayed above it for a good period of time. At this point, this $5.64 resistance level would become a new support level. I would then consider another game plan in this situation. I would buy in as close as possible to the newly created support level of $5.64. I would then set a price target of completely selling and taking profits by the next resistance level of $5.73. Once again, each sell order would be spaced and separated into 5 sell orders as we moved from the $5.64, the newly created support level towards the second resistance level of $5.73. That way I would take my profits by selling closer and closer to the resistance level of $5.73 over time. Now let's take a look at trading from a different angle. If I was bearish on nano dimension stock here are two potential bear trades I would consider. When it comes to making money with NNDM stock if you feel that the stock price will be going down, I would look at liquidating your nano dimension stock holdings around the first support level of $5.57. Now if I were to consider a second bear trade, I would keep a close eye on the $5.57 support level. If I see that the $5.57 support level is broken, and the stock price falls below it, keeping in mind that this must take place after 10.15 am, and the stock price stays below the $5.57 level for a considerable amount of time, at which point it would turn into a resistance level, I would start a new position as close to this $5.57 level as possible. I would then identify a price target at the $5.53 support level that I would close my position at. Once again I would cash out of my position in 5 different transactions, with each transaction inching closer, and closer to my price target of $5.53. I would have completely liquidated my holdings by the time we were about to challenge the $5.53 support level. I would love to know what your thoughts are on whether you think this stock will be going up or down tomorrow. Are you a bear or a bull? Drop a comment down below in the comments section and let me know. Speaking of bulls, don't forget to claim your free stocks right now with Weeble. I will leave your claim link in the description section of this video. If there are any other stocks that you would like for me to analyze, be sure to let me know as well. Please consider smashing that subscribe button and more importantly turn on the notification bell so that you maximize your available time to get this information in the future and plan out your trades. Feel free to check out this video that I just made on analyzing and forecasting my price predictions on this stock. I will be releasing an updated video tomorrow, as I do every day, so be 